Kazaya is a worthless virgin loser who doesn't have any riz, but his whole life turns when he rents a girl and ends up falling in love with her. Kazaya was living the young college man's dream of having a girlfriend, but from out of nowhere, his girlfriend, Mani dumped him and told him that she wanted another dude's pickle. Kazaya gets depressed after being dumped, reminiscing all the times he tried to get closer to her, and cries even harder after imagining some other dude with her. Then he finds a rent a girlfriend site where he can rent a girl to be his girlfriend, and while imagining mommy enjoying another man, Kazuya has enough and rents himself a girl. The next week the girl, Shizuru appears, and Kazuya folds to her looks instantly. At the cafe, Kazuya can't believe that a girl of this caliber is available for rent, but she kind of reminds him of his ex mommy. He gives her the rent money, and they start their date. They go to an aquarium and Kazuya keeps folding every time she smiles at him. After the date, they walk home together and Chizuru suddenly holds his hand, making Kazuya nervous and when they split up, he can't believe a baddie like this exists. However, on the internet he finds the Rent a Girlfriend website, and there he finds reviews about Chizuru and how everything she did was just an act, including the hand-holding which angers Kazuya so much. This simp leaves a one-star rating on her. Then he looks at his bank balance, and even though his daddy gave that money to him to spend on college, Kazuya rents Chizuru again for a second date so he can tell her how she hurts her. Then, after he gives her the money, he asks her if this job makes her feel lonely for dating dudes she doesn't like, but Chizuru tells him that she loves this job. Even though Chizuru is trying to be sweet during the date, Kazuya makes it clear that they're not dating, which she nervously agrees to. They go back to visit the aquarium, and there, Kazuya calls her out for acting fake while he remembers mommy and is actually venting about his past relationship. Chizuru quickly pulls him away to somewhere private and there, she scolds him for being an idiot for renting her and thinking she will really love him. She continues insulting him, calling him a limp pickle loser and Kazuya finally sees the real Chizuru. Then she puts her mask back on and asks if he still wants to continue, but suddenly, Kazuya gets a call that tells him that his grandma collapsed and when he runs to the hospital, Chizuru follows him as his rent time is not over yet. Then, it turns out that his grandma, Nagomi, is fine, and they ask Kazuya to introduce the girl who is with him. While the parents start ridiculing the idea of this loser having a girlfriend, Kazuya introduces Chizuru as his girlfriend, which shocks all of them. Then, Chizuru stands up and gracefully introduces herself to them, which shocks both parents and makes Nagomi cry wanting to quickly get grandkids before getting clapped by life and chill with Kobe. Then, the parents leave Kazuya and Chizuru alone with the old hag, and she asks the couple if they have already clapped, and while Kazuya starts panicking, Chizuru answers calmly that she wants to savor that moment on their first night of marriage. Nagomi approves her to start making happy noises with her grandson quickly, and out of excitement, Nagomi goes looking for her fellow fossils to show them that her loser virgin grandson is capable of bagging a baddie. Then, Chizuru starts panicking as her own grandma is hospitalized here, and she doesn't know that Chizuru is a rental girlfriend. They try to run away, but because the grandmas are close, they hide in an empty hospital room. They discuss plans of escape, but the grandmas are closing in on their room, so they hide under the blanket. In their plotful position, Kazuya can't help himself, but raise his torpedo who desperately wants to get out. Nagomi sees them and thinks it's a fellow patient, and Chizuru pretends she's an old hag to get Nagomi out of the room. Suddenly, the mood gets sweeter and Kazuya, who's slowly folding, wants to clap, but Chizuru yeets him off the bed. Suddenly, an old vegetable strolls in, and it's Chizuru's grandma, Sayuri. Nagomi pops up and tells her it's her grandson with Chizuru, making Sayuri think that her granddaughter is dating Kazuya. Realizing they're screwed, Kazuya tries to confess the truth, but Chizuru jumps in and tells the two old hags that she is happy to know that her grandma is a friend of her boyfriend's grandma. Following this, the grandmas get overly excited, talking about how cute their grandkids will look, and both Kazuya and Chizuru are unhappy hearing them. Afterward, realizing they don't want to hurt their family's feelings, they decide to just pretend to break up. Then, Kazuya vents to Chizuru how her family has a liquor store led by his grandma after her husband died and still has to raise a child. Since then, his family treated the grandma like a goddess and that she wished to see Kazuya find someone before she died, and because of this, Kazuya wants to fulfill her wish. Kazuya tells Chizuru about how mommy broke up with him even though he wanted her to meet his family, and that renting Chizuru was his desperation of not wanting to be lonely after the breakup. 
Then he tells her he will one day get a real girlfriend to make his grandma proud, not a fake one. Chizuru smiles and suddenly slaps him, telling him that he's cringe for monologuing to a stranger like that. Then, Kazuya apologizes and thanks her for the day, and Chizuru tells him that just like him, she wants to make her family happy by doing this job, and if he ever gets lonely, Chizuru tells Kazuya to give her a call. However, Kazuya is determined to never call her or any rental girl again, as he wants the real thing. In her phone, Chizuru sees that Kazuya gave her a 5-star rating which pleases her. At school, Kazuya sees his ex, Mommy, with another dude, and while it hurts him, he wants to move on. His friends pop up, asking him if he saw the new Mia Malkova video, and he says yes, but suddenly, a girl drops her papers in front of him out of shock. Kazuya looks at her and realizes that she's Chizuru in her real form. They freeze for a second, but Chizuru quickly leaves the area, and when Kazuya's buddies Kaib and Shun ask him about her, Kazuya pretends that he doesn't know her. Following this, Chizuru pulls Kazuya aside and demands him to promise her to keep her job a secret, and after he agrees, she tells him to never rent her again. Back at his place, when Kazuya is throwing out his trash, he realizes that Chizuru is beside him and lives next door. She quickly runs back inside and tells him not to be involved with her life at any cost. Later, his grandma calls and tells him that she wants to visit him and asks to meet Chizuru. Kazuya starts panicking, not wanting to make his grandma cry, so he goes to Chizuru and starts begging her to help him. However, Chizuru rejects by showing him the rental rules which are against bringing her into his private room, so she tells Kazuya to confess the truth and eat poo. Moments later, the grandma, Nagomi, pops up, roasts his crusty-looking room contaminated with his spunk, and asks about Chizuru's whereabouts. Kazuya walks out, pretending he's on a phone call, and quickly goes to her room. He pretends to be the delivery guy delivering her cucumber-shaped toy, and when she opens up, Kazuya tries to barge in and begs her to help him. However, Chizuru kicks this loser out and tells him to choke on the dirt. However, Chizuru feels a little bad about what she did, and she eavesdrops next door. There, before Kazuya says anything, her grandma tells him that she already knew he broke up with Chizuru for being too sloppy as a boyfriend. He asks if she's angry at him or Chizuru, but Nagami says no one states that she always knew Kazuya was not a stud with godly Rees since he only brought his male friends home to play with. She confesses that seeing Chizuru in love with her grandson brought her happiness, and here, Kazuya realizes the bitter truth that a girl like Chizuru would never date a wimp like him for real. Just as Kazuya is about to confess the truth, Chizuru shows up with her homemade cooking, which drives Nagomi to hug her and say that she believes that Chizuru is the one for Kazuya. Chizuru looks at Kazuya upset, and he begs her to play along just a bit more, which she does. Afterward, as the grandma goes home, she tells Kazuya to bring her with him when he comes to visit and demands they marry and give this old prune 20 grandkids. Then, as Chizuru walks back to her room, Kazuya gives her money and asks to rent her again for the hospital visit on Wednesday. Instead of rejecting, Chizuru accepts and gives him rules that they stay strangers in college and their relationship is purely transactional with her as a rental girlfriend. She tells him that he can rent her every Wednesday to visit his grandma and Kazuya agrees. The next morning, Kazuya wakes by tickling his own pickle to Mommy to start his day. Then he runs into Mommy at school, drops his book, and quickly folds to her cute appearance. He tries to say something but freezes and Mommy gives him his book and walks away, and while she walks, Kazuya imagines his own death by Mommy's snoo snoo, referring to her thigh squeezing him to death. His buddies pop up and start mocking him for getting dumped by Mommy and not clapping her beforehand, but Kai advises him to move on from Mommy. On Wednesday, Chizuru reminds him about the hospital visit and with a blank face asks for her payment, and after she gets it, she turns on her girlfriend mode and they visit the grandma which makes her happy. Then they continue their date, but there, Kazuya's friends notice them and while Kazuya is scared that they'll recognize Chizuru, they instead try to save him as they think Chizuru is part of a cult that's trying to lure Kazuya to join. However, Kazuya introduces Chizuru as his girlfriend which shocks them, and instead of denying it, Chizuru confirms it which they can't believe. Kazuya starts thinking he's amazing and boasts to these peasants that he has bagged a baddie, but then, they ask him if he has clapped Chizuru and made happy noises together which Kazuya denies, and the boys praise him for being a good man. Then they invite the couple to drink with them along with other people, and while Chizuru doesn't want it, Kazuya accepts and drags Chizuru along with him. 
Kazaya starts apologizing and begs her to go along with him, so their grandmas won't find out and with a heady heart, Chizuru accepts. At the bar, everyone is in shock as Mami is also there with them, and the situation turns spicy. However, while Kazuya is overthinking as he still has feelings for his ex, Mami tells everyone that she has moved on and to not make things awkward for Kazuya's new lover. Then, Kazuya goes to the restroom and starts imagining Mami with another dude after she says she has moved on, and when he comes back, Mami is sitting across from him. She starts talking trash to Chizuru about how Kazuya is a virgin loser who has a high libido and keeps raising a tent whenever they hold hands, and Kazuya just accepts the disrespect. However, Chizuru defends Kazuya and tells Mami to shove her fist where the sun doesn't shine. But instead of backing her up, Kazuya actually defends Mami's action. Seeing this nonsense, Chizuru leaves and Kazuya stays to drink. Later after drinking, Mami thanks Kazuya for defending her and says that he was so manly back then, and suddenly she asks him to come over to her house. She tells him that she lied about having a boyfriend just to make him jealous. After hearing this, Kazuya is excited to come to her house to do hot yoga, but Mami gets a text from her brother and tells Kazuya that he can't go today, breaking his dreams. However, after her invitation, Kazuya realizes that he still has a chance and runs off wanting to puke. Mami helps her by giving him water, and after folding to her plots in kindness, Kazuya invites her back to his place. He starts using his loser rees, saying how plump her cakes are, but Manny treats him like he's drunk and pats him on the head. Suddenly, Mani starts talking down on Shizuru, telling Kazuya how she's a slag and has a bad attitude for standing up to her. But instead of agreeing, Kazuya defends Shizuru and tells Mami that even though he still likes her and is willing to take her insults, he refuses to see Shizuru get insulted. Kazuya runs away, leaving Mami upset, and goes to Shizuru to apologize. However, Chizuru assures him that she's not angry as she's just a rental girlfriend, and she asks if he got back together with Mami. Kazuya tells her that he failed just like how he failed at moving on from his first girlfriend Mami. He starts crying about how much of a pathetic loser he is, but she tells him that caring about his relationship is anything but pathetic. She tells him that she's always available to rent to nurture his loneliness. Days later, Kazuya joins his friend group on the beach, thinking that Mami doesn't want him there but Kaid tells him that Mami is the one who wants him and Chizuru to tag along. However, after all the money he spent the past few weeks, Kazuya can't bring Chizuru along. Like a true bro, Kaid tells Kazuya to treat Chizuru properly as a girlfriend. Then they reach the resort, and like the simp he is, Kazuya can't wait to see Mami in her swimsuit and wants to ask her how she feels, believing that his grandma will love her too. Meanwhile, Mami is on her burner account talking trash about Chizuru and promising she will break up Kazuya's relationship with her, while Chizuru herself is also near the beach with her friends. Then Mami shows up in her America special swimsuit, and Kazuya can't get his eyes off the cheeks of freedom. Suddenly, Mami apologizes for what she did the other day and starts talking to Kazuya about the time they dated and how they wanted to have a dozen kids together, which makes Kazuya feel jolly. However, Mami guilt trips Kazuya for dating Chizuru and stopping his future with Mami as his baby mama. After hearing this, Kazuya is about to tell her the truth until Chizuru and her friends show up, but no one recognizes Chizuru in her glasses. She pretends to not know Kazuya and walks away which Kazuya is happy about. Then Mami uses her riz and seduces Kazuya to continue what he was saying, but his friends stop him by asking him to play. Later in a toilet, Kazuya is conflicted about telling Mami about Chizuru being his rental lover out of fear that his friends and Mami are going to label him the scum of the earth. Suddenly, Chizuru walks in and Kazuya forces her in, and they start interrogating each other on why they're here. Then, Kazuya tells Chizuru about his progress with Mami and how he wishes to not hurt Chizuru's feelings, but it gives Chizuru the ick and she gives him a reality check that a baddie like her would never love a little pickle loser like him. Suddenly, Mami shows up outside the toilet and asks the panicking Kazuya who's in the toilet with him. Kazuya tries lying, but Mami calls him out on his lie and tries to open the door. But then, Chizuru walks out looking like a snack. Mami and the boys can't believe that the goddess herself is here, and the boys start interrogating Kazuya about why she's with him in the toilet, telling him not to touch Chizuru with this golden pickle. Meanwhile, Mami realizes how much plot Chizuru has, backs away, and goes outside to start tweeting in her burner how she wants Chizuru to slip in the shower. 
Following this, Shizuru joins them and they interrogate Shizuru about her relationship and Kazuya answers them with more lies about how Chizuru fell in love with his handsome face which angers Chizuru. Kazuya runs away to the beach to cool off, but Mani is there behind a rock, asking him for help, and when he does go and help, Mani takes her shot and kisses him, all the while Chizuru is telling the others how she trusts Kazuya to be loyal. When they first meet, Kazuya falls in love with Mami at first sight, and then everything goes quickly when he asks her to be his girlfriend. They go on dates, have fun, and finish each other's sentences despite Mummy being out of his league, but just like Kazuya who has never dated anyone, Mami tells him that she's the same, making him her first. Then they kiss their first kiss, and her kiss feels the same as the one Kazuya is feeling right now on the beach with her. After the kiss, she begs him to forget about what they just did and act normal with the others. However, Kazuya can't forget about how his tongue just played twister with Mami, and in his degenerate head, he imagines that Mami wanted him back after seeing him with Chizuru. Suddenly, Nagomi calls and tells Kazuya that she will be discharged from the hospital, and she wants to see Chizuru more. While Kazuya is happy to hear that his grandma is healthy, he feels guilty for all the lies he told her. Then, the friends start interrogating Chizuru about her rich mansion home, which is a lie Kazuya told them, and how they want to visit her place. They ask Kazuya's opinion, and he looks at Mami who has his heart, and realizes it's best to tell the truth by ending his fake relationship. He confesses to them that he and Chizuru are planning to break up as they lost feelings for each other, and while they all think it's none of their business, Kaib stands up and punches Kazuya in his ugly face. They start fighting, and like a true bro, Kaib tells him that he's disappointed to see his friend, Kazuya becoming a spineless loser with no integrity and calls him out for his nonsense, saying that he saw Kazuya keeps drooling at Mami while still dating Chizuru. He tells Kazuya to love his lover with all this heart, instead of being a mindless monkey. But Kazuya stands up and tells Kaib that he will never know his pain after losing Mami as his girlfriend. Then, Kaig turns his attention to Mami and tells this dog to stop leading on Kazuya despite her dumping him, which shocks Mami to her rotten core. The others split them up and tell Chizuru she should leave, which she does. Kazuya also walks away and starts thinking about what the almighty Kai said to him, but then he walks into Chizuru who praises him for his honesty despite his friends not knowing the truth. Kazuya tells Chizuru about his grandma getting released and that she won't have to come with her anymore, and Chizuru reveals that her grandma is the same way and that it's the perfect time for their breakup. Before she leaves, Chizuru tells Kazuya that breaking up with her was his first step towards becoming a man and that dating him, while fake, was pretty fun for her, which touches Kazuya's feelings. Later, Kai confronts Chizuru and asks her to talk privately. While Kazuya is walking along, thinking about what Kai did to him, he walks past Kai and Chizuru alone on the beach, talking. He listens in to Kai being the best bro in all of anime. Kai tells Chizuru that he has known Kazuya since kid. And even then, Kazuya was a hopeless romantic who was helplessly optimistic. He tells the story of how he once ruined Kazuya's plant and didn't tell anybody, but Kazuya kept taking care of the plant, believing it would bloom into something beautiful. When Kai did want to apologize out of guilt, the plant actually grew into the most beautiful flower he had ever seen, and it made Kai both jealous and touched. He tells Shizuru that while Kazuya is an idiot, he's also a kind one and that he won't let her down if she gives him another chance. He gives her a pair of tickets to a ferry ride, and suddenly, Kazuya gets barked on by a dog which reveals himself. Out of shame, he apologizes to Kaib, but Kaib just leaves the couple alone and wishes them the best. Following this, Shizuru gives the ticket to Kazuya and states that the ferry ride will be her last time with him. On the ferry, although Chizuru is seasick, she forces herself to help Kazuya straighten his lies and encourages him to get back with Mami. Kazuya thanks Chizuru for all her help and promises to never contact her again, putting a stop to their relationship. Then Mani calls Kazuya, asking him to meet up at the hotel pool for some hot and steamy cardio, and while that is happening, Chizuru's illness is getting worse, and when she leans on the railings, she accidentally falls off the ferry. Everyone starts panicking and Kazuya, while on the phone, quickly takes action, letting go of his chance to clap Mami, and jumps off the ferry to save Chizuru. Despite in his head, he knows that he shouldn't hold feelings for her, Kazuya still reaches for her, then Chizuru wakes up with Kazuya next to her, realizing he saved her. 
Chizuru realizes Kazuya is not waking up or breathing so she tries to resuscitate him on his chest, while calling him an idiot for saving a rental like her. Realizing he's not waking up, Chizuru uses her last resort, while Kazuya is slowly fading off to an isekai, and he starts apologizing to everyone for being a loser, Chizuru kisses him and gives him a new breath of life. Kazuya wakes up and looks at the beautiful Chizuru, realizing what she did. Afterward, they get scolded by people and Kazuya misses his chance with Mami. But when he thanks Chizuru for saving him, she tells him that it's because she's his girlfriend and Kai quickly teases Kazuya about it. In the ambulance, Chizuru slowly remembers how Kazuya saved her, looking like Jason Momo's Aquaman, and here, Chizuru blushes. The next day, the fellas pick up Kazuya from the hospital, calling him the loser version of Baywatch, and when Kazuya tries to talk with Mami, she ignores him. After they get home, Kaid advises Kazuya to continue dating Chizuru, and when he denies it, Kaid tells him that jumping from a ferry to save someone is love at its peak. Hearing this gets Kazuya thinking about when Chizuru kissed her and a possible romance, but Kazuya denies it quickly, deeming it impossible. Suddenly, Chizuru shows up behind him and walks to her room, and Kazuya tells her that he's renting her one more time to thank her for everything, but she just ignores him. Kazuya goes to his room, and on his phone, his friends send the beach pictures, including Mami and her naughty America. In a blink, Kazuya gets to work on his Jimmy slowly turning big, imagining Mani performing hot cardio with him, but suddenly Chizuru shows up in his head, disturbing his fun session. While he tries to focus only on Mami, Chizuru keeps popping up, and she ends up being the main material for his little session. Here, Kazuya realizes that he has feelings for Chizuru forever on his tissue. Back in school, Kazuya walks into Chizuru and starts blushing, and Chizuru quickly pulls her friends to run away. After seeing this, Kazuya truly realizes that his heart belongs to her. Days later, Kazuya and his family go to a hot spring together. There, Nagomi reveals that she invited her friend, Sayuri, and after seeing her, Kazuya starts panicking, wondering if Sayuri brought her granddaughter, but it seems that she didn't. Then, Nagomi gives Kazuya his room key, and when he leaves, the two old hags start laughing at him. Following this, Kazuya goes to his oddly unlocked room, and inside, there are someone's belongings which confuses him. Suddenly, Chizuru walks out of the bathroom looking like a sweet munch, and she covers up. Realizing what is happening, Chizuru goes to meet the old hags to send them both to meet Haram early, but both grannies just casually tell the couple to get started and make them some cute grandbabies. In the room, they can't believe the situation they're in, and while Kazuya can't help himself peek at Chizuru's plots, she stands up and tells Kazuya she's going to tell her grandma the truth in the hot spring. However, she walks in and only Nagomi is there, and seeing this chance, Nagomi washes Chizuru's back and tells her that her plotful body will soon belong to her grandson Kazuya. Nagomi then tells Chizuru that this trip is to remember her late husband, and while she's sad and lonely, she also feels grateful for being able to meet Sayuri as a friend and Chizuru as her future granddaughter. Then Chizuru asks Nagam how she would feel if she found out that Chizuru is lying about who she is, but instead of anger, Nagomi tells Chizuru that she will love and accept her either way. Later, Chizuru decides to enjoy her vacation and has dinner with Kazuya, releasing laughter he never seen before. Following this, Kazuya wants to sleep in the bathroom to not disturb her, but Chizuru stops him and tells him to sleep in the same room with her. Clocking what she just asked him, Kazuya's degenerate brain starts working, thinking of what Chizuru will do to him tonight. But when Chizuru sees him in the mirror, she gives him the Street Fighter special and tells him he looks weird. She tells him if he tries anything freaky, the FBI will barge into his house and cut off his baby jewels. As he struggles to sleep, Kazuya remembers how Chizuru saved her and wonders if she holds feelings for him so he asks her why she saved him. However, Chizuru is asleep and doesn't answer, prompting Kazuya to watch her and think to himself how amazing she is as a person compared to him. And now, Kazuya wants to know her better. Knowing how much of a wimpy loser he is, Kazuya tells Chizuru that he feels that he can grow if he continues being with her, like how he jumped off a ferry. Despite feeling guilty for dragging her into his problems, Kazuya gathers his bravery and asks her to keep being his rental girlfriend and keep lying to the others about their relationship. Suddenly, Chizuru answers and agrees to what he asked but gives an ultimatum that she'll continue to be with him to help him grow as a person and get himself a real girlfriend. Days later, 
Kazuya announces to his friends that he's back with Chizuru, and while his friends are happy for him, Mummy is not. Following this, Chizuru makes some ground rules that he has to continue paying her rental, and while she talks, Kazuya is distracted by how much of a bombshell she is. Then, Kazuya pays for their drinks and feels down about having to pay for a girlfriend. But Chizuru assures him that she will help him find the perfect baby mama. They walk into Shun and he tells Kazuya that he got himself a girlfriend too and invites him and Chizuru to a double date. While he dozes off, a girl runs into Kazuya showing him her slice of heaven, calls him a Nimrod, and runs away without giving Kazuya a chance to defend himself. Afterward, they meet with Shun for the date and Kazuya still can't believe a girl would date this dweeb. Shun arrives with the girl Kazuya met previously and Shun introduces her as Ruka. Kazuya can't believe that a fine specimen like Ruka would date a simp like Shun, and Chizuru is jealous seeing him ogle over Ruka. They then start the date doing rock climbing and Kazuya can't help but stare at Chizuru while she struggles climbing. However, she quickly gets good at it, unlike Kazuya and his spaghetti arms, but Ruka is also struggling and refuses Kazuya's encouragement. While the girls play together, Kazuya asks Shun how he, an ugly gremlin, manages to bag a girl like Ruka, and while Shun is confused about why he asked despite already having Chizuru, he tells Kazuya that girls like Ruka like a real man, and after hearing that, Kazuya feels that he's the complete opposite. Realizing he feels down, Chizuru encourages Kazuya that his effort to get mommy won't be in vain. But in his heart, it's Chizuru that Kazuya wants. She offers him her drink, and when he accepts, she tells Kazuya to not lick her leftover saliva. Ruka pops up and asks Chizuru to talk privately. Then, while Chizuru acts all cute, Ruka tells her that she knows that she's a rental girlfriend, and while Chizuru tries to save herself, she starts panicking and quickly tells Kazuya about this. They realize how screwed they are if people find out, so they try to create a plan to counter Ruka. But Chizuru doesn't care and just tells Ruka that she's really dating Kazuya. However, Ruka doesn't buy it and tells them to kiss to prove it. Ruka reveals that after hearing about Kazuya's heroic save in the sea, kissing should be a greeting for them. While Kazuya is panicking, Chizuru goes for it and approaches Kazuya for a kiss, but instead she fakes kisses him behind her phone as cover and tells Ruka that it should be enough as proof. However, Ruka still doesn't believe it which makes the couple panic, and when Shun comes back, Kazuya makes an excuse to get Chizuru to bail quickly out of fear that Ruka will ask her to clap him. After Chizuru leaves, Kazuya third wheels Shun and Ruka, refusing to leave them just in case Ruka spills the bean. However, Ruka goes home, and it shocks Kazuya of how short Shun's date is. Realizing he needs to do something, Kazuya goes after Ruka to shut her up, but she's already waiting for him, telling Kazuya she knows the truth. He tries to convince Ruka that he's dating Chizuru, and while at it, he accidentally scores a touchdown with her bowling balls, resulting in himself getting whooped. As she walks away, he keeps trying to convince her, and after some attempts, Ruka assures Kazuya that she will not tell anyone about his rental relationship. He tells Ruka the truth about being dumped by his ex and renting Chizuru to help with his wounds, only to make the mistake of introducing her to his family as his real girlfriend and confessing how he doesn't want to make his grandma sad. He pulls up a voice recorder, begging for Ruka to speak to it, and promises to keep quiet. Seeing this nonsense, Ruka runs away, and while almost running to an old lady, she slips on the stairs, but Kazuya manages to save her while putting his body on the line. Kazuya starts begging for Chizuru's sake, telling Ruka he doesn't want Chizuru to get affected as she is the best girlfriend in the world, and after seeing his genuine desperation, Ruka tells him that she's also a rental girlfriend. Following this, Kazuya tells Chizuru what happened, and she gets angry about it and wants to find out about Ruka's agency to file a complaint for putting a fellow rental girlfriend at risk. Chizuru finds it and realizes that Ruka probably did the same thing to find out that Chizuru is a rental. Seeing how they're in a restaurant together, Kazue uses his reese and calls Chizuru a good girl for wanting to be with him without pay, and this makes Chizuru both angry and flustered, and she tells him to not get any ideas. To keep an eye on Ruka, the next day, Kazuya asks Shun to meet up so he can ask him more about Ruka. But suddenly, Ruka herself shows up and tells Kazuya she's here to meet him. Then Shun shows up and Kazuya takes her somewhere private, realizing this looks bad in front of Shun. Suddenly, Ruka asks Kazuya to hug her, but Shun comes into the room so Kazuya takes Ruka to hide with him under a table. Ruka puts Kazuya's hand around her, pulls out her phone, 
and it starts beeping which alerts Shun. The phone shows that her heartbeat rises and she starts getting flustered. When Shun finds them, despite Kazue's attempts to fix the situation, Ruka thanks Shun for renting her, exposing him for using rental girlfriends which destroys his pride as a man. In the apartment, Kazue informs Chizuru about what happened, and even she feels bad about Shun who got exposed. However, Kazuya feels there is something more about Ruka who acts weird around him, and as if the plot gods like to joke, Ruka shows up in front of him, making both Kazuya and Chizuru panic. Ruka knows that Chizuru lives beside him and calls him out for their inappropriate relationship, despite only being rental. Suddenly, she starts tweaking, pulls out her phone to voice record, and promises not to expose them, only if Kazuya dates her. With a full chest, Ruka tells Kazuya she likes him after seeing what he did for Chizuru, and she believes Kazuya would treat a real girlfriend even better than a rental one. Just as Kazuya starts imagining dating Ruka, Shizuru comes out of her room and tells Ruka that she's making it hard on Kazuya, but Ruka counters and tells Chizuru that she did make it hard when Kazuya tried progressing the plot with her. Hearing this makes Chizuru disgusted, but Kazuya calms them down and asks them to talk inside. Then, Kazuya takes Chizuru to his room, which she gladly does, and Ruka calls her out for breaking a rental girlfriend rule accusing her that she already clapped him. While Ruka also comes in and tries to mark her territory, they ask her to wait outside, and she agrees only because Kazuya told her to. Then, while Kazuya does admit that he thinks Ruka is plotful, he also doesn't want to hurt Shun by dating her, and Chizuru agrees to his sentiment, despite promising to help him get a girlfriend. Wanting to ensure their secret, Kazuya has an idea to tell Shun the truth so that out of his own shame of renting Ruka, he won't expose Chizuru also being a rental even if Ruka tells him to. So Kazuya jumps out the window to meet Shun after telling Chizuru to distract Ruka. However, Ruka barges in, causing Kazuya to fall. Just as Ruka is about to chase him, Chizuru tries to convince her to stop, but Ruka tells Chizuru that she has been looking for someone like Kazuya all her life. She catches on to the limping Kazuya, and while she wants to date him, Kazuya begs her to stop as he doesn't want to hurt his friend's feelings. Suddenly, Ruka starts crying, and she pours out her heart to Kazuya, telling him how much she loves him despite everything going against her, and that she will not tell anyone the truth. After hearing this, Chizuru advises Kazuya to date Ruka after she convinces Chizuru that she really does love Kazuya, and after some consideration, Kazuya agrees. He quickly regrets it as Ruka is a clingy girlfriend who gives him strict rules and constantly dates him, drifting him away from Chizuru and making him depressed. Suddenly, he hears Chizuru in the shower, and after 10 seconds of greatness, he gets clarity and realizes he needs to get some space from Ruka. However, Ruka shows up at his college, clingier than ever, so Kazuya pulls her aside and begs her to not do this at college where Shun can see them. While Ruka does have an objection, she agrees to his request and asks him to go to a movie to watch the Johnny Sins Christmas special which Kazuya agrees to. While they are being lovey-dovey, Chizuru watches from a distance, facing out, and when her friends snap her out and invite her to a Christmas party, Chizuru tells them she has other plans. They start accusing her of having a man, but while Chizuru denies it, she still has Kazuya in her mind. Back home, Kazuya tells Ruka that he has family plans during Christmas so he can distance himself from her, but in his mind, he wishes he could spend it with Chizuru. He checks Chizuru's schedule but finds out that she's fully booked on Christmas, and this gets Kazuya to start thinking of why she works so hard and yet still lives in a dump despite not spending much. The next day, as he walks around the city, he sees Chizuru running by, looking sweeter than ever, and she's there meeting an absolute hunk of a guy. At first, Kazuya just thinks it's another one of her clients, but then he starts thinking the worst that she's actually on a real date with her boyfriend which scares him. While he refuses the idea in his head, Kazuya imagines Chizuru boinking with the guy, and he starts following them. Kazuya figures out that his name is Omi and follows them to a movie theater, joining them to watch a film. Afterward, he keeps following them and slowly realizes that Umi is not just a client to her, and it makes Kazuya jealous to see her so happy with someone else. As Kazuya keeps following them, it grows more apparent that they are a couple, and when they start talking about eating at each other's place, Kazuya imagines the worst and breaks his own heart, slowly coming in touch with the harsh reality. Later, Kazuya unexpectedly finds himself beside Umi in the bathroom, and he overhears Umi on the phone talking about Chizuru to some shady dude about her appearance and her three sizes, which makes Kazuya think that he's plotting something shady for Chizuru. Realizing Chizuru is in trouble, Kazuya is back in the game and stalks them, 
but after convincing himself that Umi is up to no good and seeing them almost kiss, Hazuya slips and confronts them. He starts accusing Umi of being a creep who wants to lick Chizuru's toes and sniff her socks, but after some back and forth, even with all the pain in her heart, Chizuru tells the truth that she is an actress in training and Umi is a fellow actor helping her. Kazuya comes out with all the proof from his stalking, but both Umi and Chizuru tell him that he misunderstood all of them. Kazuya can't believe it, and when Chizuru asks, he confesses that he's been stalking them from the start, and midway he was worried about her getting involved in something shady. Chizuru folds but calls him an idiot, and while he agrees, Kazuya realizes that he has truly fallen for her. Suddenly, Chizuru throws him a present and explains that Umi was helping her pick it out, and inside is a foam case that Chizuru picked just for Kazuya. Even while flustered, Chizuru tries to save face and say that it's not a gift, but a token of apology for making him deal with Ruka himself. Kazuya starts sobbing like a real man and tells Chizuru it's the first time a girl bought him a present. And after hearing that, Chizuru sits beside him as the snow falls from above to start Christmas. Afterward, things get better. Kazuya gets himself a job to secure the bag, and he is happy as the only person who gets a gift from a rental girlfriend. However, he reads her reviews and finds out that Chizuru gave gifts to her other clients which deflate him. When he tries to make Chizuru stop doing it to prevent her clients from catching feelings, she refuses and out of curiosity, she asks Kazuya if he loves her. While it hurts him, he denies it and hearing that, Chizuru is relieved which hurts Kazuya a little. Then they hold hands in public just to look like couples, but Ruka shows up upset and accuses Kazuya of cheating. And after he denies it, Ruka takes him on an emergency date which Kazuya doesn't want to do. During the date, Kazuya is thinking about Chizuru, and when Ruka notices him, she puts him on a blindfold and takes him somewhere. After a few minutes, she opens it and Kazuya quickly realizes he's in for some plot development. Seeing he's in a love hotel, Kazuya tries running away while he's also tempted deep down. Ruka gets upset and demands him to explain his real relationship with Chizuru, and without a choice, Kazuya tells her everything. Ruka slaps him and tells him that he can't keep living like this, so instead of scolding him, Ruka gives him an alternative by making her his real girlfriend. While Kazuya tries to make excuses, Ruka goes to the point and tells Kazuya to make his grandma happy by making a Kazuya Jr. with her. Kazuya tries running away, and Ruka insists he let go of his desires and do hot cardio with her, but Kazuya runs to the bathroom. While Kazuya is in the bathroom, tweaking himself to hold on, Ruka sees a text in Kazuya's phone. Then, Kazuya steps out into Ruka, but she's already gone with her heartbeat extremely high. Months later, Kazuya rents Chizuru for the new year, and when Nagomi appears, Chizuru turns into her girlfriend mode which makes the old hag cry. Suddenly, Ruka pops up, causing all hell to break loose, and she quickly makes a good impression on Nagomi. Kazuya realizes she saw his message, and Chizuru warns Kazuya that she might spill the beans. When Nagomi asks, Kazuya introduces her as Chizuru's friend, and while Chizuru tries to back him up, Ruka just blurts out that she's dating Kazuya which shocks everyone and angers Nagomi. She tells everyone to go in so she can talk to Kazuya about this, and she starts abusing Kazuya, telling him to not start his own harem, but Kazuya lies to his grandma and says that Ruka is on the acoustic spectrum and is a pathological liar who likes to spout nonsense. Nagomi believes in his lie as she can't see her loser of a grandson bagging two girls at once. Meanwhile, as they get inside the restaurant, Chizuru pulls Ruka to the bathroom for some privacy, and while she tries to make excuses, Ruka brings her to reality and tells her that making Ruka the real girlfriend will be better for everyone as it's not built on lie. Suddenly, Ruka copes a feel and asks Chizuru if she actually likes Kazuya, and when Chizuru denies it, Ruka gives her the cold truth and tells her to eat dirt while she becomes the real baby mama for Kazuya as unlike Chizuru, Ruka is serious about him which leaves Chizuru in shock. During the meal, Ruka is trying her best to impress the adults, but she realizes there's something weird going on, so she pulls Kazuya aside to explain. While the adults tell Chizuru what Kazuya told them, Ruka can't believe that she's now labeled a pathological liar. Ruka doesn't like to be treated this way, having to pretend to be his friend, and tells Kazuya while holding his hand that she is his girlfriend. After the meal, they visit the shrine and without them realizing it, Ruka takes Nagomi to talk privately. Just as Ruka is about to tell Nagomi the truth that she is her real future granddaughter-in-law, Nagomi asks Ruka as Chizuru's friend everything about Chizuru, and she confesses that she has fallen in love with Chizuru as a person and potentially her future family member. 
Seeing this, Ruka realizes she lost the battle before it even begins. Chizuru shows up out of breath and Nagomi starts pampering her which makes Ruka jealous. After the adults leave, they thank Ruka for not spilling the beans, but instead of making peace, she declares war on Chizuru and tells Kazuya she will be his real girlfriend, one that Nagomi will accept. Days later, Ruka joins Kazuya at his karaoke workplace to close the gap with Chizuru, and when he objects, she snitches on him to the manager for licking clients use microphones after they visit which the manager believes in. Just as things look bad, it gets worse as his buddies show up, book a karaoke room, and start roasting him to a crisp. Then, Kaid informs Kazuya that Shun has turned into an emo who listens to Linkin Park and tweets about getting heartbroken and hating women. And he asks Kazuya if he knows anything about it which he secretly does. Following this, Kazuya tries to get Ruka to apologize to Shun for exposing him, and while Ruka does feel guilty, she explains that she did it to get Kazuya and that she was nothing more than a rental to Shun. Then, Kazuya gets his paycheck, and while he imagines spending it to rent Chizuru, he realizes that it will anger Ruka. He starts thinking about Shun and how he was somewhat responsible for making him get his heart broken. But then Kazuya gets an idea, and he goes to Chizuru to ask her for some help. The next day, Shun is waiting for Kazuya in front of the station, and he feels jealous of Kazuya who has Chizuru with him. Suddenly, Chizuru shows up and introduces herself as a rental girlfriend which shocks Shun. Chizuru takes his hand and takes him on a date. And while Shun refuses to believe she's a rental, Chizuru still actively treats Shun like her boyfriend. However, Shun imagines that he's being pranked and tells Chizuru that he's just going to go home. But after Chizuru uses her puppy eyes combined with Ri's, Shun folds and joins her to the amusement park. They then spend their time like a real couple, riding roller coasters and entering haunted houses. After a few hours, Shun slowly folds, and as if the god of wisdom strikes him, he starts monologuing about how dumb boys are for renting bombshells like Chizuru, while knowing she will never truly love them. However, Chizuru tells him that she doesn't agree as she thinks boys while childish are also romantic, and that while as a rental she can't give what a real girlfriend can, she can at least heal his wounds and make him feel better. Shun folds hearing his words and thinks to himself how lucky Kazuya is to have a girl like her as his lover, and after today he wants a girlfriend. Afterward, he thanks Chizuru for the date and reveals that he knows that both she and Kazuya did this to cheer him up after what happened with Ruka. Suddenly, Kazuya appears, and realizing how awkward it is, Chizuru leaves to give the boys some privacy. Kazuya tells Shun the whole truth, and instead of being angry, Shun starts laughing at his stupid situation with his grandma and such. They laugh at each other's loneliness as they are both losers, and Shun praises Chizuru and says that because of her, he had fun and realizes how amazing girls can be. Kazuya then leaves after Chizuru comes back to continue the date, and while Shun thinks that Kazuya is amazing, he's also confused about why Chizuru is willing to do this. Out of curiosity, he asks Chizuru if she could ever love her own client, and hearing this makes Chizuru remember how Kazuya asked her to do this mission. She remembers how Kazuya showed how he was willing to be embarrassed by exposing the truth to his buddy and how he told her that a girl like Chizuru would make any man want a girlfriend. With a blush on her cheek, Chizuru answers Shun and tells him that she just might fall for a client, and after seeing how bright she is, Shun thinks that she might like Kazuya. Afterward, after seeing that Shun is back to normal, Kazuya sees a message from Chizuru asking to meet up on the balcony, so he starts dressing up and cleaning his room just in case the plot progresses. Then he meets her, and unlike what he imagines, Chizuru asks Kazuya for help by renting her junior who just started being a rental girlfriend. Chizuru then asks about his development with Mami, and Kazuya states that while he did once promise to make her happy, now he doesn't know if he holds that same feeling. Days later, the girl in question, Suma, a normal college girl who thinks life is all fun, marshmallows and rainbows, joins the rental girlfriend and looks up to Chizuru. While she is shy during the dates and has issues initiating romance, Chizuru thinks that Sumi's shyness is her greatest asset and all she needs is to be more confident. Now if Sumi meets Kazuya and hides from him out of shyness, and when she does talk to him, she struggles to say a word. Realizing how introverted Sumi is, Kazuya takes the lead, but while he's not looking, Mami walks past and sees him with Suma. Then for practice, Kazuya asks her to smile, and when she does, she looks horrible which makes her even more embarrassed. After his few interactions, Kazuya deems Sumi unfit to be a rental girlfriend, but because Chizuru asked him for help, he's determined to do his best. 
They go to a bowling alley where the boys are drooling at the sight of Sumi, and after some inspection, Kazuya thinks she's cute despite her lack of plot. She stares daggers at other players to learn how to play, and when it's her turn, she slips, flashes, and gets a strike. Kazuya asks Sumi why she worked as a rental girlfriend, which she answers that she wants to change and be more outgoing. And after hearing that, Kazuya wants to help her. Then, while Kazuya goes to get drinks, some dudes start harassing Sumi. Not wanting to disappoint Chizuru, Kazuya pulls Sumi and saves her from those creeps. Following this, Sumi opens up more to Kazuya, apologizes to him, thanks him, holds his hand, and gives him a smile that'll provide all of us learners some warmth. While they continue their date, Moni is stalking behind them. When they eat ice cream, despite her blushing, Sumi asks Kazuya to take a bite, and when he does lick her ice cream, she licks it herself in a manner that makes Kazuya's mind wander degenerately. They continue doing other activities where Sumi stubbornly tries her best and fails, but during roller skating, they fall on each other, and while Kazuya wants to kiss her, he suddenly gets nosebleeds and has to go to the toilet. As he comes back, Moni is there with Sumi which shocks him, and while Kazuya tries to explain who Sumi is, she clings to Kazuya like a baby cola and asserts her dominance to prove she's his girlfriend. Then Moni asks for some privacy, and after Sumi leaves, Moni tells Kazuya that ever since they broke up, he has changed from a wimp to a stud that is juggling between two baddies at once. Mani assures Kazuya that his secret is safe, and she leaves, but as she walks by, Sumi sees the real Mami. Afterward, they finish the date, and Mami, while blushing, thanks Kazuya for the date. Kazuya tells her that after today, he believes that she can be a cute and quiet rental girlfriend, which reminds Mami of exactly what Shizuru told her. As Kazuya leaves, Mami screams his name and tells him that she wishes to meet him again. Meanwhile, Moni is still thinking about what she just saw and wonders how Kazuya manages to have two girls gobbling his pickle. Out of curiosity, she looks for Sumi's social media but ends up finding the rental girlfriend website. And there, she finds something shocking. Back with Kazuya, he's with the boys where Kaid informs him that his grandma is helping with his website. Suddenly, Chizuru walks past while on the job, and Kazuya quickly distracts Kaid away. Back home, Chizuru throws some wood at Kazuya's window to talk on the balcony, and there she thanks him for the excellent job with Sumi. Suddenly, Chizuru informs him that she wants to quit her rental girlfriend job after Umi got her a big role in his play. She asks for Kazuya's opinion, and while he feels conflicted, he shows his support for Chizuru to achieve her dream of becoming an actress. Realizing it's coming to an end, Kazuya feels the need to come clean with his grandma and say goodbye to his love for Chizuru. The next morning, Chizuru is ready for her rental job for a new client, but instead of a guy, Moni appears as her client. Meanwhile, Kazuya gets invited on a date by Ruka, and after his talk with Chizuru who wants to move on in her life, Kazuya accepts the date with Ruka who looks like a snack. They go shopping for clothes, and while Ruka knows Kazuya still loves Chizuru, she tells him that she will do her best to make him love her organically. Slowly. Kazuya realizes that Ruka is an amazing girl with loads of qualities that any man would love, and after realizing this, he takes her to talk privately, stares intensely, and tells him he wants to make it official. Suddenly, Moni and Chizuru walk past them and go into a karaoke room, which makes Kazuya panic. Inside, Moni gives Chizuru the rental fee, and when she refuses, Moni forces her to take it and explains that she found out about her being a rental from the website. Chizuru asks Mommy why she booked her on this particular day. But like some sick torture, Mommy ignores her question, puts on a song, approaches Chizuru, hands her the microphone, and tells her to sing. As Chizuru is singing, Kazuya realizes that Mommy catches on about the truth of Chizuru being a rental after seeing Sumi with him. Ruka pops up and gets curious about the room, and not wanting her to find out, Kazuya takes her away. Wanting to know, Kazuya opens the door a little and listens in on the two girls. Inside, Moni praises Shizuru for being able to act as Kazuya's girlfriend and fool everyone, but she tells Shizuru that she wants her to stop her fake girlfriend business as seeing her fake smiling alongside Kazuya and preventing him from getting a real girlfriend disgusted Mami. As Shizuru leaves with Mami, Kazuya knows that Shizuru is doing this for him and he needs to do something, so he chugs down water, forces himself to puke, and tells his manager that he is sick which results in him getting a day off. Ruka tries to take him to the hospital, but Kazuya rejects her offer and runs outside to go after Chizuru. In his head, he blames himself for what is happening to Chizuru and wants to make it right. Then he catches up with them and sneaks around to not get caught. 
Mommy assures Chizuru that she won't tell anyone about her job, but just as Mommy is leaving, Chizuru asks her about her feelings for Kazuya. Chizuru tells her everything that Kazuya told her about his feelings for Mommy and how he still hasn't moved on. But instead of answering, Moni asks Chizuru how she feels about Kazuya after she was his rental girlfriend for a year, potentially falling for him. However, Chizuru just says that Kazuya is her boyfriend which Mommy understands as an excuse for an answer. Just as Moni is about to leave, Chizuru remembers the image of Kazuya saying how much it destroys him that Mommy broke up with him. Suddenly, Chizuru holds Mommy to stop her from leaving and demands she give Kazuya a second chance as Chizuru has seen what kind of a great man Kazuya is. However, Mommy tells Chizuru to stay off her relationship and that it's between her and Kazuya. After everything he hears, Kazuya can't help but cry like a baby, and after he gets back, he waits for Chizuru in front of her room. Then, Kazuya thanks her for what she did and reveals that he heard everything. However, Chizuru apologizes for failing to get him a girlfriend even after trying her best. Hearing her words makes Kazuya fold even further and question why she's doing all of this despite not getting paid, and here, he acknowledges his love for her and everything about her from her worst side to her best. While Chizuru advises him to go after either Ruka or Mami, Kazuya gathers his bravery and tells Chizuru that she is the one he wants, which shocks Chizuru so hard that it triggers the credit roll, showing their best moments together. However, when Chizuru asks him to explain, Kazuya folds and tells Chizuru he wants her as a rental girlfriend like the coward he is. Chizuru tells him to not be misleading and apologizes as she will one day quit being a rental once she becomes an actress. Kazuya wishes her sweet dreams, escapes to his room, and starts regretting almost confessing to Chizuru. However, after everything he saw, he's convinced that Chizuru holds no feelings for him and that one day he will not see her again. Meanwhile, Chizuru is panicking next door, wondering what Kazuya meant when he wants her to be his. If you like anime recaps like this watch this video.